effect is, again, conduct within this area. Most of the conduct that we're seeking in this injunction, an injunction is just a court order regulating conduct. So what we are seeking in this court order is most of what we're seeking is already unlawful under the penal code. It's no shooting, no unlawful possession of weapons, no drug sales. So most of it is already enjoyed by the penal code. Now there are several things, one major thing that I'll spend some time on talking about that it's not. And one of them is probably the most controversial of all of the provisions of our civil gang injunction. And it's the, so I'll call it the association clause. And again, this is delineated in the complaint. You can see exactly what we are seeking from the court. And in the complaint, we are seeking that identify the people that we have identified, and only the people that we have identified, are subject to the order. And we are asking that the court not permit these identified and active gang members from associating with one another. Now that is the most controversial aspect because it's something that we are otherwise, we know that our Constitution allows us the peaceful right to assembly, it allows us freedom of speech, we know that. And that's why I think it is the most controversial provision because it is the one that we are, that those of us who are not subject to the injunction are not restrained by. Um, and I'm willing to take questions on that, but I